So for a lot of us, it's been about three weeks at home, and we're now settling into whatever this is. Hi. Hello. Hey. I asked you to call in and tell me how you're feeling. So, how are you feeling? I guess the way I'm feeling about the coronavirus and everything that's happening is worried. It seems like the world is so far from normal in just such a short amount of time. I'm struggling. I'm really hurting. I'm scared. And I've been scared to death. I've been laying awake at night, um, not knowing how I'm going to pay rent, buy food. I just kind of wake up every day and realize that life has definitely changed, maybe forever. A few of you are talking about what it means to actually still go into work. As an essential worker, I'm so thankful and I'm so grateful to just be on the front line. I work in the grocery store business, so we're open. But and it's been a struggle. It's been a struggle keeping things on the shelves. You know, there's times that I feel guilty because I've got there's other people that have lost their job. It sounds like your world is feeling pretty small. I think it puts more emphasis on family and loved ones and taking care of each other. Working from home with my beautiful wife who's right next to me. I just enjoy spending time with her, uh, with our dog Harley, and I've realized that it's a blessing that I have what I have in my life. You can walk your dog and ride your bike, do some exercise in the house. You just gotta do some good stuff, okay? Just stay in your house. It's kind of reminded me that you know, human connection of any kind uh, is valuable, is, is cherished. I also hear you saying that in this time of darkness, kindness still abounds. I messaged my landlord and um, he messaged me back with, the pay- with telling me I could make two payments. And he took $700 off of my rent. It was like the weight of the world was lifted off of my shoulders. We're going to make it. We're going to make it through this. I just want everyone to know that I'm praying for you. It's okay to be scared. You're not alone. And I'm really proud of the way that everybody's come together. And I know there are stories about people hoarding toilet paper and fighting over canned goods. But so much has happened that has just restored my faith in humanity. And I'm proud to be a Texan, and I'm very proud to be an American. Thanks for your calls. If you keep talking, I'll keep listening. God bless us all. Thank you. Goodbye. We so appreciate you letting us into your lives right now. And if you would like to share your thoughts with us, like David said, we're listening. You can leave a voicemail at 469-616-3835. Let me give you that number again, and it's there on your screen. 469-616-3835. And this is open mic. You can tell us whatever is on your mind.